Hey everyone, and the images that you're seeing on screen right now shows a back and forth exchange between police officers on a WhatsApp group that was uncovered by BBC Newsnight. As you can see for yourselves, you have images showing everything from racism to just straight misogyny. Now, normally I understand that there are certain things that takes place in private chats that can be inside the jokes, which from the outside can seem offensive, but in all honesty, it's just jokes, banter, and should be taken as such. However, Looking at these images, I'm struggling to see how they can even be looked at that way. Now, I bet some people are maybe a bit surprised, but most aren't. And I've always suspected that such feelings and such things have always existed. And it's just a familiar tale of the police force. But here's my question to all this is, (laughs) where are all the usual conservative talking mouthpieces who always seem to want to victim blame whenever something happens with the police? It's always our fault. It wasn't too long ago that, you know, Chris Cabot, that whole situation there, he was shot dead by the police. And again, victim blaming, criticizing everything about the man that they know pretty much nothing about, how it's all their fault. It's always something to try and excuse the behavior. Not to mention that recently there was a police report that I was going to do a video on in which it was stated he wasn't a suspect, wasn't carrying a weapon. And and come to find out only one shot was fired, which killed him. Even though when people were saying, oh, he was ramming the police, he was doing this. I was like, hmm, if that was the case and he was using his car, wouldn't you expect more than one shot to be fired? But the guy must have been a marksman. That's what it must be. So this is one of my biggest grievances when it comes to black conservatives, because (laughs) they always seem to want to take on, I don't know if it's by conscious or subconsciously, the mantle of the white far right and their talking points in which somehow they think that they're exempt from when they actually talk about multiculturalism and diversity, a la you being the single reason why the nation's in a state that it's in. Even though last time I checked, it's not been a dark face in charge of the nation, which has caused it to have its downfall. I know people want to assume it is, but that's not the case. So you've seen the images. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time.